Hello YouTube! What you are currently looking at is a 50 round case of expended Ultramax ammunition that I used today. This is all empty shells. Dirty, nasty, empty shells. If I can put these back without actually looking. Okay, now if anybody comes across Hickok 45, convey him a message. I've got 50 empty 45 Colt shells for him, used 45 Colt shells for him, if he so wants them. Guys, I'm I'm not going to reload them. I just, I don't know have, have the know-how. I don't have the time. But this is what I did today. And I know I promised you... I would take you and you could watch the, uh, the, the first uh, set of shooting, but the place was very, very loud. And more importantly, I forgot my camera. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Yeah, I forgot the camera. It was suck ass. Um, just just an interesting experience an awesome experience i would gladly go and shoot another 50 if i had the money to do so um i actually have my uh targets this is the first one and i just i grabbed what was cheap i didn't grab what was human like because it was human like now this is my first target. I don't know how well you can see that most of the rounds are upwards because like I previously said, this is my zombie gun, so I want to practice that skill. That and I have a philosophy that if you're going to be put into a position where you have to shoot somebody, shoot them in the head. Do them the courteous thing. Don't shoot them in the gut where they'll spend the next 18 to God only knows how many hours dying in agony. If you have to use lethal force, if you have no other alternative, if you've used up every other avenue of attempting to prevent lethal action of being taken and that fails, do the courteous thing. Don't let them lay there in anguish, no matter how much of a butt munch they are. Okay, that was, that was the first, oh, I'd say about 40 rounds or so in practice. I know you can't really tell. Um... And I believe... No, no, I have it backwards. That was the second one. This is the first one. Right here. And I'm going to kind of look at you through a hole in it. Because I, uh, I want to show this as much to you as possible as you can see. This was my first one. This is the one where I was shooting all north and, and all that business. And not really getting any sort of... I can't really see, so I don't know what you're seeing. Uh, you know, I got an arm, a chest, two chests, uh, a couple of, about four throats, uh, one in the ear, an ear piercing, and uh, one uh, sort of left of a nostril, and the rest of them are all up here. This was the first one that I shot. That other one with the real nice tight, tight group in the face, that was the second one. That was the, uh, the rest of the ammunition in and about that general area and I, I just had to sit down and adjust my my sight to be able to get that kind of hits and I also had to adjust how I was shooting because I was aiming for here and hitting all up here and then I aimed down about right here and I was hitting all in here so you know needless to say this thumb bitch has a kick but anyways um I'm not going to use these. I'm probably going to hang on to them because they're the first rounds that I shot. Um, but if there's somebody out there who reloads uh, 45 Colt shells and they really need shells, let me know because I'll, I'm going to end up with a lot of them and I'm not really going to reload. And, uh, you know, I, this was $50 for this. I would, you know, I, I'm not going to give this away because... Unless it's Hickok 45. If Hickok 45 goes, give me your shells, I'm going to give him my shells. But um, if you want to buy my empty shells from me, I am willing to do that. 
and at an extraordinarily discounted price. Um, at least I think a discounted price. I'll go online and I'll search around for what brass at this particular cost typically would be. And I'll, I'll find a fair price for 50 uh, rounds worth of, of cases. Um, awesome experience. I went down to, to Blue Core uh, Shooting Center. I had myself a ball. Um, it, you know, it wasn't very emotional. I was just like, okay, let's get this thing on target and let's use all up all, all of our rounds doing so. I highly doubt that I will use up every single round I own every time. Uh, but I have Ziplocs, so... Um, if I knew which one was the first round that I shot, I'd be keeping that shell. Just, just cuz. Um, my hands are all sorts of different kinds of powdered up, and I don't really know if you can see it on camera, but so too is the rifle. It's all dirtied up, and so I'm, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna clean it, but I wanted to do a quick little YouTube video first saying, you know, as far as being a shooter is concerned, I pop my cherry on that particular subject matter. Uh, it, 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 good people, um, good shootists, uh, lots of friendly help. I would recommend that place for anybody. Uh, I always forget to uh, clip my thumbnails, well, any nails, really, uh, it's not because I'm trying to grow them out, it's just I don't think about it. And so in the process of shooting, I kind of tore up my nail. <laughs> I broke my nail. But, you know, this is... I have a couple of complaints about this rifle. Um, a couple of times... Let me make sure again. I'm sure. A couple of times while shooting this thing... The cocking mechanism wouldn't cock. There literally was a, a sticking uh, in, in trying to pull back the, uh, the, the pistol. And I don't know what that's about, but, you know, I... Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. Um, there, there was a little bit of an issue with... Uh, with keeping it cocked and getting it cocked and I found that only a couple of times did this trigger shoe or, or hammer shoe or whatever the hell it is was actually of any real use at all whatsoever. Matter of factly speaking I found myself putting my thumb on these screws right here and it um, my, my thumb feels tore up from the floor up. Great trigger pull, fantastic experience. Um, I'm going to get to cleaning this thing here in a second. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Um, I don't remember. But uh, I want you to look forward to a few uh, videos coming up in the future. Uh, I'm going to try to get some of this shooting on camera. Let's see here to oh, just use the whole pile, damn it. Um, just because I'm a new shooter and there's so much that I need to do, and if you got any advice for me, I really want it. Um, I've just, it, it was just nice just to be able to go and shoot. It was awesomeness in a can. And, uh, and for those of you who don't know what awesomeness in a can is, literally speaking, awesomeness in a can is, functionally speaking, a portable version of awesomeness. Okay? This is stuff that I've been saying since I was 12. And you might ask, well, why would you want portable awesomeness? Well, let's say you're in an emergency. And as the Vlog Brothers would per put it, what if you happen to be in a moment of world suck? In a can. <sniffs> emergency purpose taken care of. Or what if you just want to show off to your friends, hey, look at this can of awesomeness! <laughs> Awesomeness in a can. Anyways, this is uh, Ben on the uh, Dragon Tiger Ninja Clan uh, channel. Uh, signing off. Uh, be safe. God bless. Uh, you sit down before you hurt yourself. 
uh, and have fun, God damn it. Uh, love you all. Bye. Let me see if I can do this. Nope, I can't. Okay.